Peace, everyone. It's Tamika Lachelle. Sorry for the jiggles. Um, peace to all my goddesses out there. I know, I know, I know. I didn't do weigh-in last week. I released 0.1 pounds last week. However, I went down 2% on my BMI, and I went up 2% on my hydration level. I also um, added another layer to my workouts um, using the 2-pound weight. And I kind of figured this was going to happen. So I'm not upset in any way. Um, I'm not overly excited about it either, which is why I'm not doing the whole confetti. However, I did release um, 0.1 pounds um, <laughs> this past week. Um, so my intentions for this week, and I'm just going to go ahead and set it for the rest of this upcoming month. Um, my born date is September 25th, or my birth date of birth is September 25th. Um, I'm a Libra, <laughs> and um, I am making it my goal to release 12 to 15 pounds by then, um, which I think is very doable, and I'm excited to, to do that. Um, so yeah, that's my goal. I usually go to Miami during my born day weekend. However, two of my friends are getting married um, around that exact same time, and I'm playing really crucial roles in both of the weddings, and so I'm not going to be able to go to Miami this year on my born day. However, my partner is also Libra, and will most likely go on his born day weekend, um, which is um, like the third week, week of October. So I'm excited about that, and I'm, I'm ready for that to happen. It's a lot going on um, over the next month or so, and I really am trying to, you know, make it to that whole um, 12 to 15 pounds of release over this next month. And I'm, I'm sure I can do it. I'm positive I can do it. So um, I don't see any, I don't foresee any issues in that. Um, I will be adding another workout uh, to my agenda. Sorry, um, over the next week. So yeah, I really see it happening. Um, this weekend was amazing. I usually don't like talk about my weekends or that anything, but this weekend um, was just an amazing weekend. I got to see a lot of people who I haven't seen in a very long time. I've been a hermit since um, I first found out about the fibroids, which is about February. Um, really got depressed, even though I was denying I was depressed. And um, the problem is I really want to have another child. I'd love to have twin boys. I'm just going to put that out there. And, um, to have anything wrong with, like, your feminine area or your female productive organ, reproductive organs, it, it, your womb, it, it's traumatic. And just, you know, I've had a lot of stuff happen to me over the last four years, and it just all built, it built up to this, this thing, you know, and I'm not going to go, like, deep into it or whatever, it's just a catch-up. Um, however, I was depressed, and a lot of the things that I had been doing, our radio show, um, the set, which is a live entertainment that we do in D.C., um, our, you know, our comic strips, everything just kind of went to the back burner because I was depressed, and I was really denying that depression, and so, um, I haven't really seen a lot of people, but this weekend I saw a lot of people who I really do love wholeheartedly with my heart, um, just deep and within my soul, I love them, and... I was reminded of that, and one of the things that just everyone kept saying is your energy, your energy is so strong, it's so positive, you know, um, people just kept saying that to me over and over and over again, and I'm so grateful that I'm going through this journey and this transformation, coming out of that depression, and I want to apologize publicly to all those people who felt, you know, the negative energy or the negative vibe coming off of me, I apologize wholeheartedly, and to my partner as well who had to endure that for so long, um, one of the reasons why I, I love him so much, <laughs> I, can, I can never truly express how much I love him, um, yeah, so, I saw a lot of people this weekend, and, um, there was a, an event where there was a lot of spoken word artists, and a lot of entertainers out there, and I'm really into the indie scene in D.C., and, um, I try and help artists have a platform to have a place to speak, and perform, and hone their art, you know, hone their craft, and, um, yeah, so I was excited um, for this past weekend. But one of the things that was told to me at least four times is you need to let people know about your arts um, more often. And so what I've decided is every time I can make a video, I will be wearing my own jewelry. I make jewelry. Um, I do want to say this really quickly. I'm not sure if she watches or not. However, one person has really helped me with earrings, and her name is Zahara. Um, 
uh, and she's helped me with um, with the uh, wrapping. I had a real problem with wrapping, and she helped me with that. So I wanted to put that out there because um, before I say anything else about the jewelry, I did have one person really help me with it. The rest, I really have just learned on my own through reading and just doing. And so the piece that I'm wearing today, I made this. Um, and I made the earrings. There's also a bracelet. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, so there's a bracelet as well. Um, and there's earrings. So, and from now on, when you see me with jewelry, it'll only be my pieces, the pieces that I make, because this is one of the things that I'm, I do and I really enjoy doing. Um, it's really helped me come out of that depression. I have huge amounts of pieces, so <laughs> I'm sure I won't have a problem, um, really posting them up for folks. Um, there's so many videos out there right now. <laughs> my daughter and I were watching reaction videos this morning, and oh my goodness, I don't know if I'm going to post the video of us reacting, but just reacting to the reaction videos, oh my goodness, people are hilarious out there. They're just funny folks floating around. Wow. That's all I can really say is wow. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure I'm going to post that, but maybe, maybe I will. Um, yeah, so, I don't know, if you have any questions, um, I'm finding out I have a lot of secret viewers, a lot of people who view and never post anything. If you have any questions for me, ooh, wow, bosom, sorry, I need to see all that. <laughs> um, if you have any questions for me, hit me up, subscribe, rate this video, um, I have been asked... I'm keeping count, and I'm at 32. 32 people, different people, have asked me to do a full body shot. Um, on my birthday, I would do a full body shot. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, um, I'll do a full body shot for you guys. Um, and I will start putting out my measurements for you guys, because I do keep um, track of my measurements. Um, yeah, so let me know what's going on in your world. Um, I do actively watch videos. Um, I do think that, like I said, YouTube is an extended family, and I really do feel like, um, you know, it's just another means for me to communicate on a regular basis with folks. So, yeah. Hit me up. Tell me what's going on. Let me know what you think about whatever the world around you. Um, pieces, y'all. I released .1 pounds last week. <laughs> and my goal for the next month is about 12 to 15 pounds of release. Um, so yeah, pieces like Reese's. I'm outie. Outie, outie, outie. Pieces, y'all.